Hello, and welcome to Math Digest. Today, we're going to be learning how to rationalize the denominator. In other words, we're trying to remove the root from the denominator, as you can see in the example. There are three different cases. In the first case, we have one square root in the denominator. All we need to do is multiply the top and the bottom by the denominator, and then all that's left to do is to simplify it. Let's look at the second case. In the second case, we have two square roots that are added to each other or a square root and a number that are added to each other. And what is very important here, even though we do multiply by the denominator, we need to invert the sign. So the plus becomes a minus. And in the second step, as before, we simplify. In the third case, we have two square roots in the denominator with a minus, or a number and a square root with a minus. And again, like before, we multiply by the denominator, but we use a plus, we invert the sign, and then we simplify. There's one thing that's very important. At the beginning, when we still have the square root in our denominator, we need to check if we can simplify the denominator. For example, here you can see 1 over the square root of x to the third power. Now x to the third power is x square root of x. So make sure to simplify this before rationalizing because otherwise you probably won't come to the solution. Let's do an example. 6 over the square root of 3 plus 3. First, we need to invert the sign in the denominator. We use the denominator with the inverted sign and multiply this with both the top and the bottom. Now we have 6, open parentheses, square root of 3 minus 3, close parentheses, over 3 minus 9. Let's simplify the denominator. This gives us minus 6. And as you can see, we have a common factor, 6 and minus 6. So make sure to divide both the top and the bottom by 6. Now, all we have left is minus the square root of 3 plus 3, which gives us our solution, 3 minus the square root of 3. Let's summarize what we learned today. Rationalizing the denominator is nothing else than removing the root from the denominator. In our first case, when we only have one square root, we take exactly that square root and multiply both the top and bottom by it. In our second case, when a number and a square root are added, or two square roots are added to each other, we have to invert the sign. We multiply both the top and the bottom by the denominator with the inverted sign. In the third case, when we have the minus with the number and a square root or two square roots, we also invert the sign. The minus becomes a plus. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for future topics, please comment them in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe for further videos. See you next time at Math Digest.